हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज़ आलोक सेमवाल टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज जेल क्रोमेटोग्राफी और जेल परमिएशन क्रोमेटोग्राफी इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन एंड थ्योरी और प्रिंसिपल ऑफ जेल क्रोमेटोग्राफी जेल क्रोमेटोग्राफी इज आल्सो नोन एज जेल परमिएशन मॉलिकुलर सीविंग और साइज एक्सक्लूजन क्रोमेटोग्राफी it is a chromatography technique in which the separation of components is based on the difference of molecular weight or size and it is one of the effective methods used to isolate and analyze the bio macromolecular substances in gel chromatography stationary phase consists of beds containing pores that span a relatively narrow size range when the gel is packed into a column and percolated with a solvent it permits the larger molecular weight components to pass faster without penetration of pores it means usually larger molecules having size more than the pore size are totally excluded here percolation comes from the latin word percolare which means to strain through percolation happens when liquid is strained through a filter same process happens in gel chromatography smaller molecules spend more time inside the beds and therefore is eluted later it means they are eluted only after a larger volume of mobile phase has passed through the column next is principle of separation in gel chromatography a resin bed is used in gel chromatography is represented as a wiffle ball here this wiffle ball is represented by this yellow color ball as you can see in this picture wiffle ball is a light perforated ball or ball with holes in it so when sample is applied it may contain variable size molecules like in this case large alanite molecules like this blue one cannot fit into the beds thus they emerges quickly from the column small molecules like this red one by contrast can fit into the beds and that's why they have a large buffer volume the separation of molecules on the basis of their molecular size and shapes utilizes the molecular c properties of a variety of porous materials probably the most commonly used of such materials are a group of polymeric organic compounds which possesses a three dimensional network of pores which contain gel properties upon them the term gel filtration is used to describe the separation of molecules of varying molecular size utilizing these gel materials here in this picture you can see the complete separation process of gel chromatography first of all all gel material is packed into a column and sample is applied after that the sample is washed with a solvent which permits the larger molecular weight components to pass faster without penetration of pores the smaller molecules are trapped inside the resin bed smaller molecules spend more time inside the beds and therefore is eluted later it means they are eluted after a larger volume of mobile phase has passed through the column so summary of the complete phenomenon is that large particles cannot enter gel and are excluded so they have less volume to transverse and they elute sooner small particles can enter gel and have more volume to transverse that's why they elute later so in the chromatogram obtained larger molecules will have shorter elution time while smaller molecules will have longer elution time so that's enough for today's lecture thank you